Happy full moon, everyone. This is Catherine with Vivacious Dish, and I am excited to once again join you and to guide you through a meditation. This full moon is a powerful one. It's a full moon in Sagittarius, and for many of us, myself included, we might be feeling this kind of pulling us into new energy um, and almost an energy of being uprooted at the moment. So what's happening right now with the way that the planets are aligned is that we're literally being pulled and catapulted into new directions and new territory. So oftentimes, especially as we tend as humans, myself as well, to attach to things that uprooting or that shift in new energies and new directions can be very jarring and unsettling and create a feeling of unease or discomfort. Um, and this is all very normal and is certainly the case. There's just kind of this big shifts in energy happening at the moment. So as a result of that, we're just really being called to release uh, and to really get in tune with things that might be shifting dramatically in our lives at the moment. And know too that anything that's being uprooted right now is for the greater good, right? So this energy is actually very positive. The energy of Sagittarius is about rapid growth. So we're being catapulted into new territory. I was thinking about Sagittarius as the energy of an arrow, kind of shooting out with clear purpose and direction laser-like focus, but sometimes if we're feeling unsteady or unstable or even just we enjoy the t sort of life that we're living now, even if those old habits or ways of being aren't necessarily serving our future self and direction, there can still be the sense of like, oh, but this feels really comfortable or this feels really good. So it's kind of finding the balance between those two things and um, allowing ourselves to release and let go in a way that feels right for us and then also kind of being in the excitement of being pulled forward in new directions. So really trusting the clarity and laser light focus of that arrow even if at times that rapid transformation or new direction might be uncertain or new. And one thing that I've been reflecting on around this energy of uprooting as we come into this full moon cycle is the ways that nature is so good at, at the process of being uprooted. And what I mean by that is that nature is very in tune with the natural cycles of kind of being sprouted, so starting out with, with initial growth and then having that growth kind of evolve and shift and I have kitty visitors which is always fun hello um, so having that new growth kind of turn then into full-grown plants that then blossom and then they complete their cycle and then they come and die essentially and are returned back to the earth so it's a cycle of growth and blossoming and then death and then being recycled and that that cycle continues over and over again and this happens for plants, even plants that haven't completed their entire lifespan, right? So think about perennial plants. They go through cycles throughout the different seasons. They go through cycles throughout the seasons themselves, right? So they kind of hit the peak if you have a flowering plant, like a rose or something. It's actually producing blooms all of the time. And each of those blooms will kind of come to its peak in beauty and brightness and then it dies off. And it's up to us as the gardener to help get in tune and guide that process, right? So I've been enjoying the summer season, um, growing some different plants in the garden and some different flowers. And I've been noticing myself recently, even in the process of pruning, right? So we trim things, the blooms that have kind of gone past their peak. And in so doing, it allows the plant to continue to create new growth. But it's kind of a funny thing because I oftentimes I'm like, oh, but 
that flower, like just leave it another day or two, let it continue to to show its beauty to the world, which is wonderful, that's true, but at the same time, it's actually past its peak and it's ready to be recycled and returned. So we can learn kind of from nature's rhythms, how we can be more comfortable in our own lives going through the cycles of new growth and then death, right? So some part of us dies off and then that paves the way and creates space for new growth once again. So we keep that cycle going. And we think about so many creatures in life that are really good at this, right? We have snakes that regularly shed their skin, right? So they're actually expanding and evolving and, and releasing that layer of themselves to be born anew in a sense. We have sand crabs that are constantly pulling new shells in to have new homes. And it's a vulnerable time, right? When those crabs are exposed and making that transition, it's, it can even feel dangerous. It is dangerous in a sense. And yet, it allows them to continue on their cycle of growth. So in that space of vulnerability, as we are being uprooted, that's where the power comes in a sense, and that's what allows us then to step into new territory and terrain. So it's really a beautiful opportunity. It's an exciting time, even amidst the potential discomfort. And so as we drop into our meditation today, that's really what we're gonna focus on is actually celebrating and loving and allowing this process of uprooting that then will create opportunities for us in, in new and exciting ways. So with those intentions in mind, let's drop in now. So I invite you just to close your eyes and settle in. Take a couple deep breaths. Just get connected to your body. Tune in to any energies that you might feel in your body. There's a lot of movement happening with the full moon. That's very common. Um, and so we can just kind of tap in and, and notice anything that's coming up for you right now. And you don't need to push that away. You can just be present too and just notice. Okay, that's interesting. That might be something worth paying attention to, especially as we go through this regrowth and kind of cleaning our roots meditation that we're gonna journey through today together. So as you drop in and connect to yourself, I want to I want you to imagine yourself sitting beneath a tree. And this can be any tree in any environment that you like. So maybe it's a palm tree, a nice tall palm tree blowing in the wind on the edge of a beautiful beach. And you're sitting there with your back against the trunk of that palm tree, looking out onto a beautiful sparkling ocean. Or maybe you find yourself in the middle of a forest meadow and you have your back up against a beautiful wise pine tree any type of pine you like there's so many varieties maybe it's a cedar or big wise redwood or a jeffrey pine or any sorts of varieties so you're sitting maybe against that in a meadow surrounded by fresh green grasses around you or maybe you're under an oak tree in a more scrubby area. This beautiful, broad-reaching, branchy oak tree that brings life to so many birds and squirrels and animals. So pick your tree. You'll know when you've found it. Usually these trees speak to us. Maybe it's a tree that you've seen in this physical life of yours in the current juncture. Or maybe it's a tree that you have yet to see in this life. Or maybe it's a tree you've seen lifetimes before. Just allow yourself to be guided now and lean up against the trunk of your tree and just really feel yourself leaning in and being connected to the power and wisdom of energy of that tree. And the tree gives you permission to hang out with it there. Sometimes it's good to ask. Trees carry a lot of energy under their branches so we can always check in and just check in with the tree and to ask, you know, may I sit beneath you and connect to your wisdom. And at this point, since this tree has spoken to you, we can trust that this is the right tree for you to be sitting under this current juncture for this practice that we're embarking upon now. So just really connect. And as you sit leaning up against your tree, you to start to imagine and feel a cord coming down through the top of your head, down your spine, down to the base of your spine and down from the root of your body, from your root chakra, 
where your tailbone is planted to the earth. I want you to imagine that cord actually going down into the earth. And as it dips beneath the surface of the earth, right, so through the soil, through any grasses or plant life that's on the surface, just imagine it continue going down and it starts to intertwine. Your cord starts to intertwine with the tree roots. And as that starts to happen and as you connect to the roots beneath the surface, you notice that your cord has actually become roots and that you are becoming one with this tree, right? So here you are starting to be taken in by the tree and you're becoming one with the tree and all of your roots are intertwining. And as you start to notice these roots, you can actually see parts of the roots that are starting to rot beneath the surface. These are roots that have gone past their prime, right? So it actually is time for those roots to be recycled, but you can still feel them kind of stuck and connected into this system of roots that is intertwined beneath you. And so you start to think about what it would be like to try to unravel and pull out those roots and it feels challenging. It's sticky. It seems like a lot of work of pulling and tugging and trying to maneuver, but there's a lot of support that's actually in your favor in the soil beneath the earth. And so rather than tugging, just sit for a moment and start to feel all the different energies and microorganisms and notice all of the different plant life and fungi that is actually alive and well under the surface of the earth. So you have this incredible team of decomposers and microorganisms that are ready here now to help you to release these rotting roots so that you may be absorbing all of the nutrients of life and really gaining the full benefit of that which is available to you as you are pulling these, this power from the center of the earth up into your roots and up into your core so that you may burst forth in brightness and blossoms and, and new growth in your branches above the surface. So as you start to notice these rotting roots, maybe they're correlated with something specific in your life. It could be one thing or a couple areas of your life, but just see as those roots are kind of dying off, if there's any tendrils or emotions that those are connected to and if so it's fine just notice those as well and then invite your friends now all of the worms and bugs and ants and fungi and everything to just start to eat away at those rotting roots it's safe for you to let them go allow those beautiful microorganisms to do their work, to do what they're being called to do now. You're totally in tune and connected to nature. You're fully allowing these cycles of the full circle of coming back again and actually allowing your body, an extension of yourself, a part of your expression, your being that is these roots here now allowing that to be recycled and repurposed to create new soil to grow new life. So as those that team that's on your side just starts to break those down, see if you can feel in your body a feeling of release and maybe even relief. You're no longer carrying the weight. And as that starts to happen, you can start to feel your roots being reinvigorated, right? So we can kind of feel the, this positive energy and the roots are so excited you're so excited because as these these layers of yourself are being stripped away by this beautiful team of support that is entrenched and just beneath the surface of the earth right so it's this reminder that we always have access to that if we just go a little bit deeper and allow ourselves to let go of those parts of ourselves that are ready to be released and sometimes that can feel like we're being uprooted but in fact we're just being recycled and allowing our these aspects of ourselves to create new life so it's really a beautiful process and as this happens that stickiness that tug that tension just releases you're no longer stuck you're no longer trapped there just breathe into that there's such a sense of allowing that's so beautiful and you're fully ready now it feels so good all of those dead roots are just being 
gently, gently chewed on and trimmed away, right? You're actually creating fuel for this beautiful ecosystem that we're all part of, right? So when we allow things to be decomposed and stripped away, we're actually giving that back to the earth. We're creating opportunities for new growth. It's really quite beautiful. So in the uprooting, we find peace, we find serenity, we find possibility, we find new life. And how beautiful. New life for ourselves and new life for all of life around us that's part of this journey also. So just breathe into that as that team that's on your side helping you to break down those roots, those rotting roots that are now turning to beautiful, beautiful, rich soil. Soil for planting new seeds. Yeah, wow, that feels so good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, dear friends, so I invite you now still with your back up against the tree to come back into that body. You can feel that cord of yours that was dug deep in the earth with all of those beautiful root connections to start to come back up. You can still feel yourself grounded and connected, but now you're coming back into your body. You can feel yourself as still in tune and in harmony with the earth beneath you and with this tree that you're leaning up against, but also yourself as a sovereign being. And just start to fill your body. Allow yourself to relax into your skin. And come back. Start to notice the sounds around you where your tree is, whether that's ocean waves lapping at the shore, or birds and squirrels chirping in the branches, or the soft wind blowing through the meadow and just rustling the plants and grasses around you. Whatever noises come through, just connect to them now. Thank this beautiful tree that you've been sitting beneath for, beneath for his or her wisdom, for allowing you to have this beautiful cleansing, releasing journey there today. And know that the roots that you've given, the nutrients that you've given in this practice today are actually going to help to feed that tree for, for many years to come. So what a beautiful offering to actually allow yourself at this moment of transformation to help to provide nutrients and new growth to this beautiful wise tree and to all of life that are ben that is benefiting from that tree and from this practice today. So you can give thanks for that. So much gratitude for our presence here, for our ability to let go and allow the completion of this cycle, the completion of this cycle as we step into this full moon energy. And you can actually see yourself sitting against this tree beneath the energy of the full moon. And the light of that moon is just illuminating this whole new path for new growth that you're embarking upon. And that uprooting feeling no longer feels scary or it no longer creates any sense of tension or anxiety. It feels exciting because in fact in the uprooting or in the allowing of those roots to wash away we just let go of any of that struggle and we're just fully present to our embodied selves and all of the possibilities that are being illuminated under this beautiful beautiful full moon <sighs> yeah so just take a few more breaths here just come back fully into your body, take in the light from this moon. Mm. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Mm. What a beautiful journey. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel lighter. I hope you feel connected. I hope you feel excited about the new possibilities and just really allowing and ready for wherever that beautiful Sagittarius arrow of truth and growth is taking you now. It's a really beautiful and opportune time. We're filled with energy and light as we've come into the fullness of the summer months here and now and with the light of the full moon to help guide us on new pathways. Let us embark with joy and excitement as we know that as we shed those roots of old that we're able to help to nourish ourselves and to nourish the earth 
and to step in a new territory. So I hope that this full moon cycle the next two weeks is prosperous and illuminating for you. And I look forward to seeing you all again at the new moon in two weeks. And until then, be well.